Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a quick look through some of the e-learning things I build that could help you. This video showcases some of my skills and experience in the e-learning industry. At the end of the video, I provide a QR code link so you can explore these examples in more detail and try the interactivity yourself. I have worked as both a learning designer and a learning developer, and I often combine both roles. I have provided e-learning or learning solutions for these companies. ACG, UP Education, IELTS IDP and IELTS British Council, Ministry for Primary Industry and other government organisations including SIMS, Coordinated Incident Management System, BCITO, Work-Based Learning, Digital Learning for Building Construction Apprentices, Divergent Thinking, a company specialising in business-to-business -business training and empowering neurodiversity. Some projects I worked on include several e-learning suites, including a suite of modules, graphics, gamification, web build and social media content around understanding your own, others and team neurodiversity, e-learning modules and quizzes for timber structure detailing, joinery, environmental awareness and construction, health and safety in the trades and numeracy support for underserved learners, blended learning modules for fisheries observers, fish identification and gamification for honorary fisheries officers and many more projects. Now let me describe some of the e-learning development skills I offer. First of all, let's talk about Storyline. This is by far the thing I'm most passionate about. I love building Articulate Storyline content, I love the interactivity it offers and I think it's really good for providing engaging learning, digital learning. Here are a few examples, but because Storyline's about interactivity, please have a go at the QR code or the link associated with us and you can find out more examples and have a go yourself. For this rounding module, this was a very complicated digital build about a simple topic. Because it's for learners who were never fans of maths, it was important to make this as accessible and fun as possible. This included continually contextualising concepts to construction, using simple images, simplifying and chunking concepts, providing lots of practice opportunities, scaling the difficulty of content, and also providing lots of games for practice and engagement. Another aspect of this was that because the learners were didn't have laptops, most of them only used a mobile phone, to simulate a mobile app vertically. Gamification, let's face it, everyone loves a game. A little challenge engages most learners and is a great form of practicing concepts rather than just telling learners passively. The DT Diagnostic Tool, this was a free tool to help people learn what neurodivergent quadrant you might belong to. The rounding game as shown above within the numeracy module, learners could choose to either engage with this game before, during or after as practice. Fish identification game, a huge part of an honorary fishery officer role is to be able to quickly identify a wide range of fin and shellfish. What better way to practice this than with an identification game? The pest plant identification game, a similar concept where learners had to guess the pest plants that closely resembled native plants. Feedback was provided after each level and reinforced as the game progressed. I also like to use storyline and graphics together to build interactive infographics and other blocks within RISE to explain in international interactions, to explain uh, processes, for example, uh, how to use a gimbal, the do's and don'ts, to provide interactive course overviews for the fisheries observers, with simple motion graphics and interact interactions to explain the ELISA test process, and using Storyline to engage learners to consider and write about potential health and safety risks and controls. RISE courses, now everyone, most e-learning designers now build RISE courses. It's industry standard but what I think I offer is the ability to add really engaging multimedia material and interactivity within these RISE courses. I've shown you some before with Storyline but another thing I like to use is multimedia software like the Adobe Suite, Video, Camtasia, um, Beyond, Videoscribe, other online so video software, illustrations in Illustrator um, or 3D illustrations in SketchUp and especially gamification to bring learning to life and engage your learner audience. One aspect that I focus on in RISE is to build narrative scenarios or branching scenarios within RISE modules. There's lots of ways I do this and I've given you a few examples in here. To make any course jump, you always need good graphics and multimedia content. Our learners now expect this with any digital tools. 
things like memes, GIFs, motion graphics. These are all things that I love to create. And here are a few examples of some GIFs and motion graphics I've created. So Anton, we're talking to all these amazing businesses mm. and they're asking me what are the benefits of working with us? What would you well, say? I uh, also create live video shoot examples. I love to create little brief, fun animations. I uh, create 3D illustrations using SketchUp. These can be animations or still images. I also create 2D technical illustrations, mostly using Illustrator. And I'm a big fan of also using hand-drawn hand -drawn illustrations, if appropriate, too. Final thought from me, let me help you elevate your e-learning game. Let's create engaging, on-the-go e-learning solutions. Here's my QR code. Have a click and try and engage with some of these e-learning samples now.